name is Burak Keskin and welcome to the presentation. In this video, I will explain the interrelationship diagram of our group project Turks and Super League player statistics. In this slide, you can see the interrelationship diagram. Starting from player entity, I will explain the content and relations in the diagram. Player entity is the primary entity in our diagram and it has attributes ID, name and surname, birth date and country ID. Uh, player entity has one to many relationship with country entity because a player can be a member of more than one country. Country entity has attributes country ID and country name. Country entity has made one to many relation with league entity because a country can have uh, more than one league. For example, Turk Star Super League and Sport of the Super League. In league entity, we have attributes league ID, league name, and league country ID. In each league, there are more than one team, so league team league entity has one to many relation with league teams entity. League teams entity has league ID, team ID, start date and end date attributes and uh, it has one to many relation with team entity. Team entity has attributes team ID, team name, team stay ID, stadium name and di director name. Uh, in this entity team ID is the key because more than one team can be founded in the same city and can share the same stadium. Team entity has relations with goal, red card, yellow card, matches and player teams entities to keep track of all the information about that team. Player teams entity has attributes as shown in the slide and it contains player information in a team by storing various data about the player while the player is in that team. Teams require information from this entity for each player in the team and players can be transferred more than once. So for each player, so player teams entity has one to many relation with both team entity and player entity. Match entity has uh, attributes as shown in the slide and it keeps track of every action may occur in a match by having relations with team, season, referee, red card, yellow card, goal and player matches entity. Match entity has zero to many relation with player match entity because a player may not be played in a match in that season. Player matches and goals entities both have zero to many relations with player entity because a player may play in no matches and even if the player takes part in a match may not be able to score. To finalize, this diagram covers the design of each part of the project and thanks for listening to the presentation. Hi everyone, my name is Mehmet Ilmi Duman. I will make a presentation about our group project Turkcell Super League player statistics. Before starting my presentation, I want to thank to my group mates. In this part, I will explain what our project is and how we decided to do a list of data items, creating UNF table and inserting data to the UNF table. First, start, start with the quote of the day from Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam purity comes from faith and why we choose this project we choose this project because football is a big industry every year million dollars is paid for the footballers and teams managers have to know about the footballers performance in our project we can get information about players performance players contribution to the team and to learn players real market value. With our project, teams get information if a, player is, if a player is really good for the team or not. And also teams can determine transfer policies. In our project, first we decide to do data items. 
the search match websites like matchclick.com and transfermarkt.com to decide the data items and after that we make a set of data items it is formed three parts one is player, inform player information and the second is team information and the third part is the match information first part is the player information it has nine data items player, player names player first name, last name, birth date, photo, short number, position, market value, players, nationality and the country flag. This, this is all the about player information. And the second one, second part is team information. It has six data items shown in the table. And the third part is match information it has 16 data items this part has also referee information card information uh, it has two types red and yellow card and gold information about the match gold information uh, types is uh, gold information has a three types uh, penalty free kick or hat after deciding to the data items, we enter the data to the Excel first. In here, shown in the table, each row has match information, team information and the player information. After all, we create the UNF table by using create table query and add decided attributes like player information match information and the team information on the table and then for inserting data to the UNF table we use the insert into query we insert all the da all data for the attribution for example in the first row uh, it has the player information, Roberto Carlos and uh, players the other informations, match information and the team information uh, is inserted to the table and then we use the select from query if the, all the data is inserted to the table or not select what is successfully run and we get this table shown in the pictures all of the data is added to the table uh, and that is all I hope to see the sunny days thanks for, thanks you for your attention hello everyone my name is Mehmet Veysel Sekendis in this part uh, I will explain the TNF tables which were mentioned in the YAR diagram part how we can create these tables and insert data on them and also creating a way for make comparison with uh, our UNF table we decided to use MySQL in our project as we see in the figure, we have 10 tables as 3NF tables that are created from UNF table by removing the dependencies between attributes. By doing this, we save storage with reducing repetition and we gain advantage at updating and adding new data to our database. These tables are player, country, position, team, team city, match, referee, yellow card, red card and goal tables. We can see the primary key values for identifying tables and foreign key attributes to understand the relation between the tables. They will be mentioned also in the creating key part while these tables joining. We can see easily a table. Uh, we, we can easily create a table by using create table query and adding attributes and setting required constraints on them. And we can use insert into query for inserting data to that table. At the UNF table, we used insert into query with writing all the values of the attributes to add data. In these three NF tables, we will use select query with insert into query to take data from the UNF tables. The first table is country table. We have two attributes and country ID is the primary key. We can see the genetic table below after using the query. We use auto increment query at our primary key and SQL will generate that data itself. The second table is position table. It gives information about player positions. It has two attributes like counter table 
The primary key is position ID. We can see the generated table below. The third table is referee table. It contains information about football referees. It has three attributes and referee ID is primary key. The table below is generated with this query. The fourth table is teams the table. It gives information about which city the team is belong. We use unique query at teams the name attribute because every city has unique name. It means that we can also use this attribute as primary key but we use teams the ID as primary key for better understanding. We can see the generated table below. The fifth table is team table. It contains information about teams. The primary key is team ID and there is also a foreign key as team ID. We use foreign key query for relate team tables with team table. The on delete set null is applied because if any team data is deleted from team table, it will set null to the team table. And also on update cascade is used. If any information updated at chart table, the information is also updated the team table. Because of the relation with the table, we use two tables to get data at insert into query. We can see the created table at right. The next table is player table. It has many attributes about the player like we see in the picture above. Player ID is the primary key and position ID, counter ID and team ID is selected as foreign keys. We use four tables in the insert into query and we can see the generated table below. The other table is match table. It contains the information about matches in the league. We have match ID as primary key and also we have three foreign keys. We use three tables to get required data for this table. We can see the generated table below. The next TRNF table is goal table. It contains information about goals. You can see the attributes on the picture. There is a primary key which is gold ID and there is also three foreign keys. We use five tables to collect data and we make the search with setting goal minute as not null from UNF table because we want to get information about the goals. The other table is yellow card table. It gives the information about when yellow card is used in the league. After using this query, we generate the table at the right. We used four tables to search for data and we set the minute yell attribute as not null while doing the search in the UNF table. The last table is red card table and it contains consistent information about red card usage in the league. As similar to yellow card table, we also used four tables and set the minute red attribute as not null in insert into query. We can see the information at the generated table. After creating the TNF tables, we want to create a view for make comparison with our original UNF table. Basically, we combine all the tables we created to get UNF table. We use showing queries for this purpose. In the beginning, we use right joint between player and mesh query because we want to take all the mesh information. After that, we use left join query one by one for gold, red card and yellow card tables. Because we want to keep all the mesh information even if there is no goal or no card usage happening in that match. Then we use join query for country, team, team city and referee tables one by one. We can see the generated view table on the right. There is also a part of the UNF table as we see, as we see in the left. Uh, when we look to our view table, there, there is 15 rows, but in the UNF table there, there was 19 rows. It is because we collect the yellow card, red card and the gold informations in a row for the same instance. Thanks for listening. Hi, it's my turn. In this part, I am going to present some modifications we did based on customer request and a simple web interface for the project. Other group members have presented first part, but I will review IR diagram so you can understand this part better. First, we started with four independent tables. Then we added other tables with foreign key constraints. 
like this. This was our final ER diagram for part one. Based on customer request, we added some other tables and we modified some relationships here. In first part, uh, one player would only play in a team, uh, only one team. Uh, here we have created another table. Here start date and end date represent the date which the player started to play for team. Also we have added a new attribute uh, transfer cost. Here we are moving our existing uh, data into the new table player teams we, we have just created. After creating player teams we modified our IR uh, diagram like this. This was another thing we had to modify in first part team ID in goal table was for the team goal scored against uh, op the opponent team. This was for opponent team. Uh, since it is requested that a player can have multiple teams during his career, we change his team ID to point team ID of player who scored for. Uh, here we added a new uh, column called team ID to yellow card and to keep track of card status of player for different teams he played for. This is after modification, it's like this. So we do we did same things I think for red card too. Now this is a part of entity relationship diagram before customer request. This is after modification. We add then three new relationships. Now we added another table player match. This gives more detail about a player during a match. Also we can change player during a match using enter match minute and exit match minute here. Here we have inserted our existing data into player match table. This is ER, di ER diagram representation of our new table with two new relationships. A uh, customer would like the system to allow us to change which teams are, are currently in Super League and which are in other leagues. Uh, here customer wants teams to have league information. To be able to do this we create this uh, new table. We insert some example data. And we have added uh, another table to store relationship information between uh, team and league tables. We add some example data. Here and date uh, is null means all of teams are still playing at the first league since this date. This is our rest modification. We create two new tables with three new relationships. These are and we also have created another table to store season information of a match with some example data. Uh, we have added another column to match table. We fill it using this query. Here again we see rest modification to ER diagram. 
Here we have to remove some unnecessary columns from player tables. Uh, this is our previous table and this is our latest form of player table. Uh, one thing I should note is in the, this query we use a single drop column for multiple columns but in MySQL we have to use uh, we have to drop each column one by one we can obtain and change league information of teams using this query and uh, for example we have here we have changing link of Galatasaray uh, for user interface our customer wants to see how much a player has played this is uh, easy we can do this using this query here the first name and last name are our variables this is our uh, customer's second request for user interface in this query we have used it is null function to replace null values with zero in MySQL we have to use if null function changing what team a player is playing for is done at two steps first updating old uh, record uh, which is about previous team and adding a new record for new team here uh, end date of previous team and start date of new teams are the same if end date is null this, uh, this is a uh, late current team of the player can add a player to the system using these queries we can uh, remove a match from data files using delete from and our final ER diagram becomes like this uh, here to simplify diagram only table names are shown here green relationships and uh, tables are uh, our new table and relationships in this part we have created five new tables and 12 uh, new relationships now we will look at our user interface here we in this folder we store some image to Uh, these are teams logos here our user interface uh, some information about player and list of played match uh, we can search for another player for example uh, also this is how we can go team uh, we can get information about team directly clicking on this link we can search for a team uh, goal list means total goals scored by the team for this season to 
change a team of player uh, for example here current team is Galatasaray we can change from here new market for the transfer cost uh, new sheet number and the new team uh, for example this okay where we see there is some uh, you can see uh, self updated this value has been updated another custom request was adding a player to the systems here we look at our player here we have these players we know we are going to add another player birthday country we have only four country now can select a mage for example and say okay let's let's check it as you can see a uh, current team we haven't had a team yet but we can change the team of this player from here Yes, and we can delete a match from here by selecting the match and delete. As you can see, total goals. As you can see, this list has been updated too. And this was our uh, user interface. Uh, thank you.